All right, I rearranged just a little bit. Hopefully, you get a little bit better angle on my tool here. This is when it gets really fun. When you've got things down around, you can turn it faster, spin it faster. And uh, let me tell you what, this, oh, this cherry smells so good. And thank you again, Jason. And it is flinging water at me as I turn it faster. But here you have an idea. That's about, yeah, 450, 500 RPM. We'll go crank it up. Just to guess, I can feel the water right there hitting me. Right about there. That's probably about 800 RPM, 800, 900. I don't have a digital readout, so I really don't have no way to really tell that good. Watch these ribbons come off of here. That steady ribbon comes off, man. It just you can't help but bring a smile to your face. I'm inspecting to see how much of my burrow is left because I don't want to lose it. I can't wait to get inside of this. I always do my outside completely first. Such beautiful wood. Look at that water. It's I mean I'm I'm wet. <laughs> Makes things rust though. I've got my recess. Ah, it's a little bit punky down there. I'm, I'm kind of considering it a little bit. So we're coming down about to here. Let me take this down up here on this side a little bit more. We'll see what we got. I always start off at a slow speed and then I crank it up. My face mask is covered with water. I, I doubt that you can see it. I can take heavier cuts up here because I'm trying to take more wood off. Down here, I'm I was going lightly because I don't want to. I'm trying to save as much of that burl as possible, that burl grain. But up here, I'm just trying to get rid of some meat. You gotta watch out for that edge. It's really sharp. It will cut you. Oh, there. Yeah. Put the table salt. You can hear that knocking at that bark conclusion. Yeah, jumping compared to solid wood. There 
already is. I believe I want to get past that. It's still going to be beautiful though. That time I didn't slow, start at my slowest speed like I usually do. I use my own device. That is that harsh wood we're getting to. That feel. Okay, I got rid of all the bark. Except for this little bit here. It's time to put a fresh edge on my chisel and do a little bit of final shaping. I'm debating about leaving that or not. Let me think about it a minute while I sharpen my chisel and then I'll decide. So, sharpening is a whole other video by itself. So, I'm not going to put you through that. I'm up here. <laughs> Covered with wood and water. But, um... Yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes.